Phonological awareness is a broad concept that relates to the sounds of spoken language. The term sound relates to a sound we make when we say a letter or word, not to a letter in print. A letter may have more than one sound, such as the letter A in was, can or father. And a sound can be represented by more than one letter, such as the sound K in cat and kitten. The word shop has three sounds, sh, o, p, but has four letters, s, h, o, p. Educators should use the terms sound and letter accurately to help children clearly distinguish between the two. Remember the term sound relates to a sound we make when we say a letter or word, not to a letter in print. The foundations of phonological awareness are based in the development of a child's word knowledge, also known as metalinguistic awareness. Word knowledge can be developed through a range of approaches. A syllable is a unit of sound within a word. For example, dog has one syllable. Papi has two syllables. Using actions can be an effective way to emphasise syllables. What's that bear? Rabbit. Rabbit. Can you clap the syllables for me? Rabbit. Oh, close. I think that you're clapping the sounds. Here, I'll show you and then you try after me. Rabbit. You have a go. Rabbit. That was? Two. Two syllables. Well done. How about, oh, we might try him. All right, what's that one called? Crocodile. Crocodile. Can you clap the syllables for me? Do you want me to do it first? Mm -hmm. All right, we've got crocodile. Crocodile. Well done. All right, how many was that? Three. Three syllables. Well done. Okay, I'm going to choose this one now. This is a giraffe. Mm. All right, can you say giraffe for me? Giraffe. Good boy, now clap the syllables. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so close. I think that you're clapping the sounds again. Another way to describe it is the beats in the word. So if I have giraffe, I could go giraffe. How many beats did you hear that time? Two. Two beats, well done. Now your turn, you ready? Giraffe. Well done, now on your own. Giraffe. How many beats was that? Two. Two beats. Well done. Okay. Let me see if I can find Maybe. one more. Oh, I've got one. What's this? Horse. Horse. How many beats was that? One. One. Well done. All Horse. right. Horse. Just the one beat. All right. What else have we got in here? Cow. It's a cow. Now, I want you to try this one all on your own. Can you clap how many beats in that one? Cow. How many was that? One. Just the one beat, wasn't it? Well done, so one syllable. Oh, now what's that animal called? Camel. It's a camel. Can you clap how many beats are in camel? Camel. How many was that? Two. Good boy, I think you've got this. Oh, that's a long one. I think you've chosen a tricky one. Now what's that animal called? I think it might be a rhinoceros. That's a very long one. Do you want to give it a go or do you want to say it first? Give it a go. Give it a go. Okay. Rhinoceros. Oh, good boy. How many was that? Four. Four. Four syllables. Great job. Well done. Developing a child's ability to hear and identify rhyme helps build their phonological awareness. So we know that rhyming words all sound the same at the end. So we could say mat rhymes with cat. cat. Well done. With rat. And rat. And, and sat. sat. Well done. And we know that they rhyme because they sound the same at the end. So see how my mouth does the same thing at the end? Mat, sat, rat. See how my mouth does the same thing? Do you know Humpty Dumpty? Sometimes nursery rhymes, like Humpty Dumpty, have lots of rhyming words in them. So we're going to listen to Humpty Dumpty and you tell me when you hear a rhyming word, okay? Humpty Dumpty. I think they actually rhymed those Humpty two. Humpty Dumpty. Well done. How did you know they rhymed? They had the same letters, but it's just 
good boy, so they have a different starting sound, but they sound the same at the end, don't they? So Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great... Which two words rhymed? Wall four. Good job. I think that they rhymed as well. All, all the, the king's, king's horses, horses and all the, the king's, king's men couldn't put Humpty together, together again. again. Well done. Beautiful singing. Now, I think men rhymed with something in that at the end of that nursery rhyme. Men and... Again. Again. Well done. That was a tricky one, wasn't it? We had to really listen out for that one. So in that nursery rhyme, I heard Humpty rhymes with... Dumpty. And wall rhymes with... Fool. And men rhymes with... Again. Well done. Great job. Alliteration is the recurrence of the same consonant sounds at the beginning of words in close succession. For example, orange octopus and white whale. So I have a... Turtle. And what sound do you hear at the start of turtle? Tur it's a t sound. Good boy. So can you think of a name for our turtle that starts with the t sound? Timmy Turtle. Timmy Turtle. Good boy. Let's think of a different name for him now. So he's actually very little or he's very small. What's another word for little that starts with the t sound? Tiny. It's tiny. Good boy. So we could call him... Teeny tiny. Tommy Turtle. Teeny tiny Timmy Turtle. Tom. Good boy. I think that's a great name for him. When children are developing phonemic awareness, they are simultaneously developing phonological awareness. Phonemic awareness is the ability to hear, identify and manipulate separate individual phonemes in words. View the video about phonemic awareness for more information. Phonological awareness relates to the sounds of spoken language and is a crucial aspect for developing a child's emergent literacy skills.